My name is Zach. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm 24 years old, and my drug of choice is heroin. And it's it started off when I was around 14 years old. Um, I uh, started smoking marijuana. I remember the the uh, drug or the the dare program in um, sixth grade, and I was always curious about it, you know. And I didn't I didn't go out and pursue it that day, but I remember I was just having a bad day one one day. I went around when I was around 14 years old, and I just I knew people that were doing it, and I went out and sawed it out, and it just my whole life changed. I don't know. It felt like I you know I finally fit in, like I finally felt where like where I belonged, and from there it progressed. Um, started doing it every day, um, and I uh, did that up until about 19 years old. Um, you know I. Uh, I remember getting into a really bad car wreck and I hurt my back really bad and got prescribed some uh, pain medication. And then I really felt like I belonged. Like as soon as it happened, I was like, yes, like this is, this is what I was, was been looking for this whole time. Um, it was almost like I had a blanket over me that, that comforted me no matter where I went. Um, and you know, I was doing that every day and then I finally got weaned off of it. And then I started pursuing it myself on the streets. And that's when things really started getting bad. Uh, it, it, I became a slave to the substance. It, it, it consumed me. It took away all my morals, all my values, everything that was instilled in me as a child. And I became a completely different person. It, it kept me in this purgatory state of neither happy nor sad. I was just like neutral. I was like just just being. I was just existed. Um, and from then, it, it just like I said, it just continued to continue to progress. Um, you know, my father works for the uh, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, and he would always ask me, like, "Zach, why can't you just stop?" And and I'd tell him, "I'm like, man, it's it's like I don't even have a choice anymore." You know, it gets to the point of like, of, of just ultimate desperation, no consequences, no, no uh, reprimandation matters. Like it just, it, it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. And this is gonna be the, the hardest time of my life to get on the right track. But I know that I've got potential and I know that I can do it. And most importantly, I love myself enough to do it. Like the, the curriculum here is without parallel, you know, the, just the way the people, I guess, deal in philanthropy in general, not only like caring about us, but you know, caring enough to, to come here every day and literally help me get my life back on track, you know? And like, when I first started going to treatment, you know, I, I thought it was a joke. I thought I didn't need the help, you know? Like, I thought that, that I got it, I got this. I realized there was a problem, and since the problem has arisen in my life, it has given me cognitive awareness to know that, that I need to change, but ultimately I, I, found, I found out I couldn't stop. And Palm Partners has showed me, showed me the light, you know, I, and I'm not saying that to sound like cliche, you know, because it's, it's not, it's, it's the ultimate truth, you know, and Jerry Egan, he is a very, very smart man. He knows what he's doing. He has, he has guided me through this and shown me everything I need to do in order to stay clean as soon as I leave. I would call Palm Partners because for one, it's in South Florida, and two, um, I've never been to a treatment center where I feel like they care about me as much as any place else. It's, it's the best place that I've ever been, and that's an understatement. If you or someone you know is struggling, call 888-508-7072 now. That's 888 508 7072